Alright, what's good guys? This is the first in a uh, few tutorials. And I'm letting you know right now. I'm not here to teach you the basics, okay? I'm here to put some damn hair on your chest. So if you're not ready, go frolic in the sunshine. And for the rest of you big boys, you know, let's get right into it. So what is hip stun? You know, that's a good question. No, hip stun is the period of time after being hit by an attack. Any animator worth their salt is going to have some hit stun, you know, in one form or the other. You know, there are many ways to do it, but let's go over what it looks like exactly. Let's get this fucking speed and put it to, zero, to 0 0.25, alright? You gotta, you gotta notice that in Street Fighter, if you hit somebody, you don't just hit somebody and then they just fucking, they slide away. They always stop for a few frames and shake around. And right now, which is the example for the hit stun, is that he's gonna do that crouching heavy punch. He's gonna be in mid-air probably, and he's just gonna shake around in mid-air. See how he shakes around? So yeah, that, that, that's basically hit stun. It gives it more of a powerful feel. So if you feel like your attacks feel weak, you probably need some hit stun, man. The longer the hit stun, the more powerful it's gonna feel. And if you're gonna if you're gonna do hit stun, don't just do hit stun, but you should also do the screen shake shit. As we can see from my example of Vegeta hitting with Wild E, this gives the hit more weight. Granted, you could just hold the frame. Animators like do that do that to great effect. But what's important is you like try out different ways of using hit stun. Okay, I completely forgot to mention this, but you could also smear the frame. Go down to the envelope tool. You no, know, it has that extra, you know, impact, that extra flare. So hit stun is your bread and butter. You know, but like every good sandwich, you know, you put the butter on last. So don't worry about adding hit stun in at the beginning. Finish the animation first, then you can go back and add it in. But you know, that's just the baby stuff, okay? No, those were just the training wheels. Now let's get on to extreme hit stun. Extreme hit stun is a fast zoom in on the character, creating an even bigger impact with the hit. Now this type of hit stun is for those big hits, so don't go whipping it out in public, you know, all the time. Now pace out the fight and figure out a good time to use it. Alright, that being said, this was just a simple quick tutorial to get the ball rolling, so come back next Sunday for composition.